everybody this is me and today I have a vlog for you guys so as you can tell at the moment in the UK it is definitely winter it's got so much colder recently and behind me you can see that we don't have that much grass left in our field Mickey here has come to join me because I think he wants some more hay because Mickey what is on your face You've been so dirty rolling in the field. The field is basically just mud at the moment. So we've been giving them a lot of hay recently because they need more roughage in their diet. And we actually had a feed delivery. So I'm gonna show you what we've been feeding them. In this month's issue of Pony Magazine, they have a really good article about hay and feeding your horse roughage, which is so important because horses need to eat little but often. This is especially important to prevent colic as it keeps your horse's gut moving. Also for your horse having something to chew on can help prevent stress and boredom, as well as helping him or her to maintain their weight over the winter. So here we have the hay steamer and this is what we use to steam the horse's hay. Some people like to soak their horse's hay in water and some people just leave it dry. Because Mickey has a slight respiratory problem and the dust can sometimes make him cough quite a lot, we do steam all of the horse's hay now. This hay steamer we actually made ourselves because most hay steamers are so expensive, they're like over a thousand pounds. Um, this one we made completely ourselves, so this is actually a wheelie bin and a wallpaper paste remover, which you can get at like any DIY shop and we just put it together. So as you can see, it's literally just a wheelie bin and a wallpaper paste remover. <laughs> The hay steamer actually makes the hay really warm, which is great for cold days like today in the winter. Mickey and Casper absolutely love their hay being steamed, but the donkeys, they, I think they prefer it dry, but I think it's because they're desert animals, so they're used to eating dry roughage rather than steamed stuff. <laughs> We also recently had a feed delivery, so we have some substrate here which is for Casper which is his competition mix, the donkeys, Molly Chaff which is a special donkey food, and we also have some Alpha A Chaff which Mickey especially has. If your pony is like Mickey and tends to eat his food too fast then I'd recommend feeding them Chaff because that's what Mickey gets, he gets some Alpha A just because um, it makes him chew his food more properly and more thoroughly so he's less likely to choke. I've just got Casper in from the field and as you can tell, he's very muddy. So it's time to get grooming then, mate. <laughs> So I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm using my special mane and tail brush that I have used on myself. You would have known if you checked out my tackles, quite a funny story. But it's actually working pretty well as a mane and tail brush, better than a hairbrush, I can say that. <laughs> no, you can't eat the hairbrush. No, it's not for eating.
So today I thought it would be some fun because today is so cold. I'm not going to work too much on um, off flat work or anything like that. I'm just going to ride to have some fun. We might do some pole work or pop a little jump at the end. So today I'm just going to ride him in his bitless bridle, just have a bit of fun because he hasn't been ridden for a while because I've been so busy with um, mocks coming up at school with egg levels and things and exams. So let's put his bitless bridle on. <laughs> These reins are really thin. Okay, so Casper's all ready to go. Should we ride? Yes. Casper, as you can tell, he's quite tired now. I'm a bit out of breath. We're both very unfit because we haven't really done too much riding recently again because of exams and things for me. But he did so well. We haven't really done too much bitless work, and I haven't ridden him in this bridle that much. This is the first time I've jumped him in this bridle, and today we also jumped the biggest we've ever done bitless, which is a meter. So I'm very happy with him. I think he definitely enjoyed doing all the pole work at the beginning. So I'm really happy with our ride. We just went out, had a bit of fun, just because we need to keep ourselves fit. Because hopefully in the summer, when my exams are finished, we can then get out and start competing again. But at the moment, I'm just taking him over. We're just having fun, really. And I think we definitely had that today. <laughs> Good boy. I'm here with Mickey because I'm going to take him for a little walk around the village in the woods because now he's retired and isn't ridden anymore. He still enjoys going out for walks and um, going on a little adventure. And in this month's issue of Pony Magazine, they have a really good article all about leading your horse safely, such as standing by the side and using voice commands. If you'd like to check that out, then I will leave a link in the description below and you can actually buy the magazine all the way around the world. So Mickey, should we go for a walk then? 